Hey everybody, I know there are multiple ways into this channel, but by far the most popular is Sleepcore. Uh, regardless of how you came here, I know it isn't always the clearest as to what exactly Sleepcore is, so here, on its third anniversary, I'd like to take a little bit of time and unpack it, uh, explore what it means to me, <laughs> why I do it, and how it's changed uh, over the years, you know, what it is. So, the less satisfying answer is the obvious. It is a show, a curated collection of media intended to replicate the experience of late night channel surfing. Uh, I have never slept well. I have spent many sleepless nights with media falling in and out of sleep with dreams being influenced by said media. Uh, sleep core is not intended, uh, just to clear this up, is not intended to be a sleep aid in that, you know, it will make you fall asleep or help you stay asleep. Uh, if it works like that for you, great, happy to help, but they are produced to enhance the experience of falling asleep. This media is meant to complement that period between being awake and falling asleep, where you sometimes uh, slip into memory, <laughs> guilt, regret, that sort of thing. I sometimes think of it like a television signal broadcast from memories and uh, not always your own. It grew out of Vaporwave and the idea of being nostalgic or comforted by something you've never experienced. There's a lot of terrible Vaporwave, um, admittedly, but when it clicks and works, it's amazing. I, I love it. I was also watching a lot of found VHS around the time uh, that I came up with the idea, uh, home recordings that would be taped over several times so that one show or recording would sometimes abruptly cut away to another uh, or just static, and then something else would fade out of that because, you know, that's how these tapes were made. Someone recording something and uh, quickly grabbing a tape uh, to record something else. So you get these sometimes eclectic media mixes that are curated by impulse. I've always wanted to curate or program a television channel. Uh, Sleepcore was that on a small scale. I've since stepped that up and it is now part of a larger network of different series that have spanned uh, multiple seasons, <laughs> some of them even. I never wanted it to be a content dump. Um, I wanted the clips to matter. I want them to be something more also than just pandering nostalgia. You know, remember when? Uh, that sort of thing. I think that, you know, you can do so much more with nostalgia. Not to say that I have always been successful uh, and that I haven't played up uh, nostalgia, um, but the goal has always been to take people on a trip and not always a fun trip. Sometimes it does get dark. Uh, see Nightmare Core uh, as an example. My biggest inspiration was Night Moves, uh, or Night Walk, or Ride. Uh, I've talked about this before. It was a series in the 80s that ran overnight in the Toronto area that was more or less a walk or drive around the city with some great 80s jazz. Uh, this was something I discovered later on. <laughs> I did not watch this when it uh, aired. Uh, I also did not watch Night Flight, uh, but learning about that, I think it definitely deserves a shout out. Broadcasting was a big part of Sleepcore early on. I used to stream <laughs> until it became clear my computer can no longer handle it, at least not reliably. I would announce streams and, uh, you know, build hype, <laughs> as much hype as I could build at the time, uh, and things would go wrong. The best example was the Screamathon 2019. It went out about three hours in, and I felt awful, <laughs> because we were getting about three or four times our normal viewership, and I feel like I let people down. There was a lot of excitement around that, so... That was a bummer. <laughs> Up until six months ago, everything was actually done on a 2014 Mac Mini. Uh, the first anniversary stream, the six hour one, nearly killed it. Uh, still, uh, the best sleep core ever, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, dreams, media, and memories. It streamed between midnight and 6 a.m., and that really allowed the themes to develop. Um, playing with loneliness, uh, crime, anxiety, fading in and out of dreams uh, based on what you were watching, media triggers. I still think this is peak Sleepcore, and everything else has been trying to replicate it. Um, everything I ever wanted Sleepcore to be, uh, you can find it there. If you want, uh, you can watch it for free on our Patreon. I will post a link. Uh, but yeah, dreams. Uh, dreams are weird. <laughs> Sometimes they start out warm and pleasant and quickly turn terrifying, as seen in the two Nightmare Cores. Uh, honorable mentions to both of them. These are also some of my favorite, though 2020 I think was better conceptually. Because of some of the more popular themes, Sleepcore gets associated with nostalgia, like we were talking about earlier, and warm feelings, but it's not uncommon for some really dark shit to come to you when you're trying to fall asleep. And Nightmare Core gets to explore that. 
I have since upgraded my computer, but I've not returned to streaming because I think Sleepcore is more effective as an individual experience rather than a shared one. Uh, not to say it cannot be fun watching along or laughing like MST3K, um, but I find one-on-one -on -one, uh, to be more effective, at least to get some of the um, dreamy qualities uh, across. Some people don't get it, and that's fine. I remember one piece of criticism I got was the ordering of clips. Uh, someone thought they should have played chronologically and told me to organize them better. Uh, and I just can't imagine uh, watching Sleepcore and thinking about chronology uh, or time <laughs> because it travels through it. Uh, that's a huge appeal to it, I think. Uh, I know there are some of you who grew up with this content and have your own memories attached to it. Uh, and I also know that many of you uh, grew up without uh, traditional television. Sleepcore has always existed. I used to say it's an aesthetic I contextualized and have since applied that to music playlists. Uh, you can actually follow us on Spotify. Uh, there are four playlists over there now, including a new one that try to capture a similar feeling uh, using songs. Uh, I think the most interesting period of Sleepcore, at least in my opinion, was the Patreon era. Uh, they are available for free, and I use them to explore the ideas that I still got excited over. Uh, so you got a lot of uh, dreamy sort of, um, you know, I used to call them dreamscapes, <laughs> you know, media mixes uh, to older songs. And uh, yeah, not really based around theme. Um, the later ones also start getting really personal in a way, though I guess that could be said for any of the ones that I put together. Um, a lot of you make suggestions for themes, and I think that's great and welcomed. But I encourage you to create your own sleep core. Uh, it's fun, calming, and uh, pretty easy. Between the channel and Patreon, I produce eight or nine videos a month, ranging in intensity and effort, and it's exhausting. <laughs> I love it, but I would be lying if I said I never got burnt out, but I always use Sleepcore, putting it together as a sort of uh, meditative experience. It's always very relaxing and satisfying just looking for stuff to use. I, I sometimes think that I'm over it and I never want to do it again, uh, and then I come up uh, with an edit and it's like, you know, holy shit, it works and it's, uh, it's the best. Anyway, that's how I see Sleepcore. Uh, I think it's unavoidable that something like Sleepcore has taken many different ways. Uh, so to some of you, this sounds very pretentious <laughs> and you're thinking, you know, it's just fun clips. Uh, get over yourself and that's cool too. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think of Sleepcore. Let me know what Sleepcore means to you down below. I have done something similar the past couple of years. So if you want to see how my own perception of Sleepcore has changed over the years, you can check those videos out. Uh, if you enjoyed this one, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. We are entirely supported by our patrons, I do not monetize any of my videos, and in return I produce a lot of exclusive content <laughs> in series, patreon.com slash picksandportraits. If you haven't seen it already, we also recently put up a best of uh, old time with some of our favorite and most memorable clips used in Sleepcore, <laughs> or examples of Sleepcore, so please check that out if you haven't. Thank you all for making Sleepcore uh, what it is, because when I first came up with it, I did not imagine, uh, you know, the hundreds of thousands of views uh, that it's gotten and that it resonates with people. And I think that's really amazing. So thank you so much uh, for your interest in this channel. And thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there.